never let them mold you. It's your piece of clay. It's your canvas. So mold or paint the picture the way you see it, not how others see it. The world's full of sheep, and the last thing it needs is another sheep. So change your direction, change your surroundings, and make yourself uncomfortable because comfort causes the spirit to die. Your heart is always long for passion. The minute you quit feeding it what it needs to pump is the minute that you sleepwalk to your own grave. Top of the morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the 88 Sats radio channel. We're doing an emergency broadcast today. We're calling it Not Your Keys, Not Your Cheese. Something I saw online a while back, and I thought it was pretty catchy. Um, It is hotter than Africa in this house right now, and you could probably hear the dehumidifier humming in the background. And the worst part is that I'm drinking hot coffee. But I've never claimed to be the brightest person ever. But I do have all my Bitcoin off of the exchanges. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. In the last couple of weeks, we've seen the SEC, which stands for Securities and Exchanges Commission. They've gone after Binance. They've gone after Coinbase. And the chairman of the SEC, Gary Gensler, he's been talking about this for over a year now. He said on numerous occasions that everything other than Bitcoin is going to be considered a security. While Bitcoin, I believe, will be considered a commodity. And so I'm going to be talking about that. I'm going to be talking about getting our Bitcoin off of the exchanges, how to do that. And then I'm going to be talking about something that happened to me earlier this week. Uh, It was the first time it's ever happened to me. But I almost lost a ton of Bitcoin. So let's first of all, we're going to start out with uh, what's going on here, what we can do uh, in terms of getting our Bitcoin off of the exchanges. So the the first thing here is that we want to make sure that whatever cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin we have, we get it off of the exchanges today or tomorrow or this weekend, but as soon as possible. It seems like the SEC is making a big push to come after these exchanges like Binance and Coinbase. I think I saw that Binance had their assets frozen and I have no idea what the implications are for customers. I'm not using Binance anymore. And I don't know what sort of communication was sent out to people. I do know that Binance is also stopping operations here in Canada. So even before this, I think that it's it's a priority that whatever cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin you have to make sure to get it off these exchanges as soon as possible. You can move the I've done several different videos on what sort of wallets you can use to move these coins off of these exchanges. The first one is Exodus. You can put anything on Exodus. That's Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Doge, Polkadot. Exodus will hold all of those coins. You can also use the Moon Wallet, which is specific to Bitcoin, or the Cold Card, which is also specific to Bitcoin. So start there. I would also, not financial advice here, and I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but I would highly recommend trading whatever cryptocurrencies you do have, like Ethereum, like Doge, Dogecoin. (laughs) <laughs> although who knows what's going to happen with doge elon's still tweeting about it i think that it could be p- implemented into twitter it still has no fixed supply it's still proof of stake i don't love it if you're get, if you're waiting for that to happen i would still recommend going to bitcoin once bitcoin is fairly valued you can start buying doge if you want to i just don't see long-term doge going up in the same way that bitcoin does But start there. I I recommend swapping all of those coins for Bitcoin because we don't know what's going to happen with these these cryptos. Gary Gensler of the SEC has been saying for a lot of months now that everything other than Bitcoin is going to be considered a security. And so further down the road, years from now, they're going to have much different implications between a security and a commodity, which I believe Bitcoin will be considered eventually. But you're going to have to worry about taxes. If you've been staking or earning a yield on any of these, you're going to have to probably pay taxes on those. So like I said, I would recommend swapping those out for Bitcoin. 
And the, the second part of this is that if you do have any Bitcoin on Binance or Coinbase, move that into the Moon Wallet or Exodus. I mean, Exodus holds everything. So if you only want to have one set of private keys, you can just put it all into Exodus. I don't necessarily trust Exodus because it's a closed source um, wallet. But it's still much better than leaving it on the exchanges. <clears throat> And the second part here is that once you do move those into a wallet, or if you've already done that, say you have Bitcoin sitting in a moon wallet, an Exodus wallet, whatever it may be. I had an issue this week and it was the first time that this has ever happened to me. So I logged into my moon wallet and usually when I pull that up, I just have to put in my pin code and then it opens the wallet for me. But this week, the moon wallet actually signed me out of the account. And so if I didn't have my private key written down in a place where I knew where it was, I would have lost all that Bitcoin. And it was a significant, I mean, it was five or $600 worth of Bitcoin. But if I didn't have my private key written down, that would have been gone. And it was nothing that I did. Like nobody broke into my house. My house didn't start on fire. I didn't lose anything. Moon actually just locked me or signed me out of my account. And if I didn't have the key to get back in there, it would have all been gone. So the actionable items for today, for this specific emergency broadcast. <laughs> Number one, whatever Bitcoin, whatever cryptocurrency you have, get it off the exchanges into a wallet today. Don't procrastinate on this. You don't want to be the guy who wakes up 10 years from now, thinks back and says, 2023, I had 5 million Satoshi sitting on Binance and I was too lazy to move them into a wallet. What are those going to be worth 10 years from now? I have no idea. Could be worth zero. Could be worth a ton. But you don't want to be telling that story. As, co as cool of a story as it'll be, you don't want to be the guy who's telling that story. Don't be lazy. Take 10 minutes. Log into your Binance account. Set up a wallet. Click receive. Click send. Wait 10 minutes. And they're all of a sudden in your custody instead of in Binance's custody. Right? It's not that hard. It's important and it's not that hard. And the second item here is that if you've actually been proactive enough to set up a moon wallet or set up an Exodus wallet, make sure you have that backup phrase written down on paper and you know exactly where it is. Don't overcomplicate it either. I think that a lot of people lose their Bitcoin because they overcomplicate their security process. So don't go out into the woods and write down your 12 words on a tree and expect that in five years from now, you're going to remember which tree it was, which branch it was. You have to find the proper balance between keeping it secure enough where if somebody were to break into your house, they wouldn't be able to find it, but also easy enough for an emergency situation, you're able to access that private key easily. So the moral of the story here is don't be lazy, do things properly while you still can, and you don't want to be the guy who wakes up 10 years from now and remembers how much Bitcoin you had at one time because you're never gonna get that Bitcoin back. And I've been talking about this for over a year now, how important it is to get your coins off of the exchanges. I still have friends who haven't done it. <laughs> and I'm sure one of them is gonna be watching this one day. He's gonna know exactly who I'm talking about. And he has been talking about getting his Bitcoin off of Binance for a long time now and still hasn't done it. But Bitcoin's a long-term hold. We need to set ourselves up for the long-term and this is the most important step to doing so. And I, I probably sound like a broken record here, but it's such an easy thing to do. You don't even have to spend any money. You go to the app store, you click download, you have an Exodus wallet, you move the Bitcoin into that Exodus wallet, you back up the Exodus wallet, write down your 12 words, put it in a safe place and you're done. You don't have to spend any money. Just 10 or 15 minutes of your time. So I hope that you learned something today. I hope that you're going to take some action here and secure your wealth into the future. It's important stuff, honestly. It's easy to think that, you know, I only have $200 worth of Bitcoin, $2,000 worth of Bitcoin, but we have no idea how much that's going to be worth in 10 years from now. So I'm not going to say please, because at the end of the day, if you lose your Bitcoin, it actually makes my Bitcoin more valuable. <laughs> that's... That's the beauty of uh, the fixed supply and how Bitcoin works. But, you know, 
I still think it's important to uh, be talking about this and that's why I'm taking the time to do so. So I'll probably put up a QR code here for my lightning address. It's kinggolf at walletofsatoshi.com. If you learn anything, if you feel like sending some sats in, all this information is free, uh, but that's an easy way to do it. If you feel like giving some value back, I would really appreciate it. So I hope you uh, have a great day, a great weekend whenever you're watching this and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.